Hi, all Today we're looking at what a microbe is, but more importantly, where do we find them? So at, we're going to start with a video by Dr. Istvan. And as you listen to her, try to make a list of where you find microbes. How many different places can you write down? are small, tiny organisms that we find everywhere around us. And they are so small that we need a microscope to look at them. Those microbes or microorganisms normally belong to four major groups, bacteria, viruses, fungi, or protozoa. Microbes are around us everywhere. We can find them in the air, in the soil, in water, on rocks, on plants, in animals, and on and inside our body. In fact, there are more bacteria in our mouths than people in the world. Not all microbes are harmful. Some are really beneficial, such as the bacteria that is found in yogurt and cheese, which we call the probiotics, and they are essential for healthy life. So why some germs will make you sick and others not? Actually, there are different factors involved in that. If a bacteria on your skin relocates to your bloodstream through a cut, then it can make you sick. Violence also plays a role. Germs that are more potent can make you more sick than others. The dose of bacteria is important. In food poisoning, you get sick because you are ingesting large number of bacteria or large quantity of toxin in your food. And finally, we are normally exposed to bad microbes, but we don't get sick. That's because our immune system can fight those germs and they only can cause disease when our immune system is weakened. Okay, um, so did you catch where microbes are? They're pretty much everywhere, right? They're in on land, soil, water, air, animals, humans, they're everywhere. So um, there's a couple interesting things that come out of that. <clears throat> um, it's really interesting to look at the the microorganisms that are on and in humans. Um, actually, so she also talked about how a large majority of um, bacteria can be helpful and some can be harmful. So there's way more helpful bacteria than harmful. She talked about a little bit. Um, there's bacteria can be helpful in terms of industry, um, but also bacteria can be really helpful in terms of human health. So if you look at these um, graphics that are on the screen right now, you can see a couple different ways where microbes are not only present in different places uh, in and on the human body, but also helpful. So pause the video here and um, find something that surprises you about either where microbes are or how helpful they are. And my two, so my two favorite facts off this are, first of all, um, we wouldn't be as healthy as we are if we didn't have microbes. A lot of the places in these graphics, you see that microbes actually defend us against other pathogens against the pathogenic uh, microbes or against other things that are going to harm, harm us. In the same way, uh, microbes also help us um, not just through defense, but also just through functioning. Like if you don't have certain bacteria in your intestines, you won't absor absorb the nutrients that your food has to offer. Your food will just pass through you and you'll excrete it out and you'll never absorb the nutrients unless you have that bacteria there 
to help you. The other thing that really surprises me, or maybe I just can't get over it, is that it's present in our brain. It's so crazy. Um, there's microbes everywhere. So I guess the question becomes rather not where are microbes, but where aren't microbes. So there are a couple places where microbes cannot be. And if microbes are there, then you get really, really sick. So these are called sterile environments. And I'm sure you've heard this word, um, hospitals go to great lengths to make sure that they sterilize things, um, equipment, rooms, air, spaces, so that they're not introducing bacteria that could become pathogenic. Um, but really the only place on your body where there isn't any microbes is your blood. Your blood is sterile. And if microbes get into your blood, it can make you super sick. It's called um, going septic. So um, you really don't want microbes in your blood. Um, other than that, they're everywhere else and they really are very, very helpful. The other thing that they talked about in the video um, that's pretty interesting is that bacteria can be helpful until it gets in the wrong spot. Um, so this is true for some things that are super common to us like strep. So there's different strep is a type of bacteria. It's actually just part of the bacterial name um, and we'll talk more later on in the year about what the different parts of the bacterial name actually mean. Um, but there's certain bacteria that we identify as strep that naturally, naturally live on us, mostly on our skin. Um, but it's really beneficial to us until it gets in the wrong spot. And when it gets in the wrong spot, it can make, make us really, really sick. So this, this bacteria that is present on your skin right now and actually helps your skin to be really helpful, healthy and helps your skin um, defend itself against things that could be really harmful to it. If it gets in the back of your throat and starts growing there, then that's what we call a strep infection. And uh, it's super common in little, little kids. That's the one where if you go to the doctors and they think you have strep, they like take the Q-tip and rub it against the back of your throat. It's not an awesome feeling. Um, so if you've had that done, you probably remember it, but that's a really good example of bacteria where on one part of your body, it's helpful. And then on the other part of the body, it could be really harmful. Um, so bacteria is fascinating and I'm excited to learn more with you about it.